Hi, I'm Carl. What I'm holding is Samson. He's a royal ball python. These guys are native to Central Africa, to West Africa. These guys live in grasslands to forest areas, and they live in trees because it's a forest-dwelling species. The scientific name of this snake is Python rigidus. Um, these guys have a nickname, the alien snake, you see right here, that resembles an alien. The snake gets its name Royal Python for the reason how they got their name is that Queen Cleopatra, she used to wear them as jewelry around her neck, wrist, and waist. And how they got their name Ball Python is that when they get scared or threatened, they curl themselves into a ball as a defense mechanism. When they get scared or upset, they will stand their ground and, and hiss like a warning, like, get away from me, I'm poisonous. But no, snakes are not poisonous, they are venomous. The difference between poison and venom is that poison, you have to absorb, touch, eat, or swallow it. Let's say if I ate something that's poisonous, like a mushroom or a poisonous berry, I'll get the risk of being sick. And for venom, it has to be injected from a bite and a stinger. It happens in many ways. Like for example, if a snake bites me, like a fertile ant, it injects the venom into my bloodstream and I have to seek medical attention. Also, a spider bite, all spiders are venomous, and uh, that's the difference between poison and venom. Um, these guys can live a very long time in captivity, but they have been known to live a long time in the wild. Um, this, this is Samson, he's a male, how can you tell? He's got a scar on his head, that's how you can tell he's a male. And you know it's a female, she has no scar on her head. That's how you can tell it's a male and a female. Um, this snake does not kill with venom, it kills its prey by constriction, meaning like monster snakes such as anacondas, pythons, boas, they have the ability to constrict and swallow their prey whole. Um, if you do get bitten by non venomous snakes, it's very important to clean the wound with antiseptic. And uh, if you do get bitten by venomous snakes, do not do what people do in movies, like snakes on a plane, shows like the Jeff Corwin experience from Animal Planet, uh, Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, or Bear Grylls from Man vs. Wild. If you do get bitten by a venom snake, it's very important the victim remains calm and still get to the nearest hospital and then try to remain calm and get anti-venom as fast as possible. If you're not sure what kind of venom snake bit you, call a hospital or your local poison control center and they'll try to figure out what to do. And does anybody have any questions?